things. Um, so today's video is going to be, I'm going to be talking about my natural hair. And I've, I think I've addressed this before in a video or two, but I'm going to go more in depth in this video. So if it's a little long, I do apologize, but I want you guys to understand why I decided to wear my hair straight instead of wearing it in its natural state. I don't hate my hair for one. Um, it has something to do with my professional career and the change and things that I was experiencing um, in my professional life. And so I decided for me, the best thing for me to do um, with where I was trying to go professionally, and this is not to really conform to the norm or conform to how people feel like they need to see me, but I, I pondered it a long time and I decided it was gonna be best for me. Now, do I intend to wear my hair in its natural state again? Yes, I do. And matter of fact, it's probably going to be the summertime because I know I'm not going to be able to hold this up in the summer <laughs> in the summer months. Um, I feel like wearing my hair straight during the winter months works so well because I don't have all of that humidity and the sweating and all that good stuff like I do in the summertime, especially when I'm going to be working out because I'm going to be getting back into the gym very soon. And so I know with heat and the gym and sweating, this is not going to work <laughs> at all, especially when I go to the sauna, if I go to the hot box, this is not going to work. So for me, I feel like this summer is going to be more about protective styling. I will wear my natural hair in, in its natural state. I probably do what I did during the Christmas holidays, which was wear my hair back in a bun and protect it that way and, and go from there. But I love my natural hair, but right now at this stage in my professional career, this works for me. And um, I decided I just wanted to try something different. It had been a long time since I had seen my hair straight. Um, and I kind of missed that. And I didn't want to relax my hair. And it was getting to the point where I felt like I wanted to relax my hair. But I didn't want to go through the process of transitioning again. I just felt like that was just going to be too much for me. And I didn't want to cut my hair. Now, I've been looking at some short hairstyles and some color and all of that good stuff. And every now and then I get the itch. And I'm like, I want that style. I want it now. <laughs> when can I get it? Um, but I just, I started to think back to why I start wearing my hair straight. So I did not relax my hair, guys. This is me flat ironing my hair. And I used to go to a stylist and I'm not, I'm not saying I won't go back to that stylist, but since I've learned how to take care of my hair like this, it's easier for me to do it than to pay someone to do it because it can be costly. So I did invest in a good uh, flat iron, which is the Baby Bliss Pro. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Pro, and that flat iron works amazing. Like, I absolutely love it. I have the wider um, flat iron, but I want the small one. My sister has the small one. I think we'll probably interchange because she gets mine sometimes, so I'll probably get hers at some point. But I just feel like since I have learned to take care of my natural hair, why not learn how to take care of my hair in its natural state? And I don't put heat to my hair. Um, I did my hair um, yesterday morning. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I had conditioner on my hair on Sunday because I was going to wash my hair. So I ended up putting my conditioner on, um, letting it stay on my hair all day long. And then I got up. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep because I slept most of the day on Sunday. Um, and I washed it out nicely like really good and then I um I blow dried it and then I flat iron my hair and so I will not put heat back to my hair unless it gets wet or some or I start sweating or something but I will not put heat back in my hair again because when I wrap my hair it keeps it nice and straight and it keeps my ends bent so I won't put heat in, in my hair again for a very very long time and the last six weeks i put heat in my hair three times and that was when i washed my hair after i washed and blow dried it i did that and then i put heat to my hair when when was it maybe like a 
two weeks after that because it had rain and then like two weeks ago tomorrow I, I flat ironed the to the roots of my hair because I was going to a conference and so I did the roots of my hair but I didn't come all the way down to where I was passing heat back on the straight part of my hair and that was it but for the most part and I didn't even take my flat iron with me I did it. let me take that back I did take it with me but I didn't have to use it because I didn't know how the weather was going to be there so I took it as a backup but I wrap my hair every night and I put a silk scarf on and then when I get up in the morning and like do my makeup and so forth I just take my hair and I just unwrap it that works for me so with that being said <laughs> let me tell you guys the products that I've been using for my hair in the straight state okay so I wash my hair with a sulfate free shampoo and so um the one that I I want to say this is sulfate free. Yes, it is sulfate free. I want to say, wait a minute. I thought this was sulfate free. But this is by Shea Moisture. And this is the Bayo Babe. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. And Tea Tree Oils Low Porosity Protein Free Shampoo. Has spearmint extract and clary sage in it. It's for moisturizing and balance and moisture resistant. And so this is it right here. This is the color safe. Um, let me see if that's going to zoom in for you guys. Maybe not, but that's it right there. Um, I've been using this and as you guys can see, like quite, I have um, less than a half of this left because I love this. A little of this shampoo goes a long way. It lathers really nicely on your hair. And when you wash it out, you can actually feel that there's no products on your hair. And I really, really like that. That's how I know when my hair is squeaky clean. It's like when I rub it, it's like, it's a different type of texture than if I have product on my hair. Like I know that my hair is clean. And so at times when I feel like my hair, like my scalp is dry, I use my Mazzani um, dandruff treatment and I put that only on the scalp of my hair and I just like rub it in, massage it in really, really good. And then I rinse it out. And I don't have that problem all the time, but I use it to treat my scalp and to make sure that I don't have like cruddiness and dry scalp and flaking going all over the place. That helps tremendously. Um, but this is a shampoo that I have been using on a regular basis and I absolutely love it. And it says that Baobab oil is from an African super fruit. Um, this deeply moisturized and it's rich in vitamins and antioxidants. It has tea tree oil which moisturizes and comforts scalp for healthy looking hair. And then it has peppermint which revitalizes hair and scalp with a fresh stimulating fragrance. And it does smell really good guys. Um, so I love this. This stays in my shower. So for conditioning my hair, if I'm just putting conditioner on my hair, which is very rare because I'm only washing my hair like every four to five weeks. And I know that sounds crazy, um, but because of the way the weather has been, it's been cool. I don't have to wash my hair every week. I probably should or every two weeks, but I don't like I just I haven't. Now for the summertime, I, I will have to wash my hair more frequently. But if I'm just washing my hair and have to just condition my hair, I use like VO5 or Hello Hydration, just whatever, not generic, but whatever wa uh, rinse out conditioner that is near me, that's what I use. So no specific one. But for deep conditioning, let me show you what I've been using the last I would say three months I've been using this because this is a new container this because I love this stuff just that much um, but it's the Cantu Shea Butter this is the color protecting moisture mask and it has quinoa protect it strengthens and softens color treated hair of course my hair is not color treated it probably needs some color to cover up some of these grays I got just popping through like hello but <laughs> Um, but I don't have any color on my hair right now, but I love this conditioner like this stuff right here is Amazing like it leaves your hair so moisturized so soft Like whenever you wash this out, it's just like it brings your hair back to life and it smells pretty good oh, Smells good. It smells like 
I'm not gonna say like palm olive <laughs> and like hand soap, like dishwashing detergent, but it smells really good. It has a nice fragrance to it. Um, but it does moisturize, moisturize your hair so nicely and I just feel like it adds like that balance back that I need after I have stripped all the products off my hair from washing it. So this is the deep conditioner that I've been using and this is by Cantu, um, Cantu Shea Butter and this is a really good line for natural hair as well. Um, I, I love this, I love this stuff. And they also have a leave-in conditioner that I will use whenever I wear my hair in this natural state. So after I rinse that out, I have no product on my hair whatsoever. So when I go to flat iron my hair, um, it's blow dried. I have no product other than my heat protectant in it, which my heat protectant is the Chi. It's the Iron Guard, it's a thermal protection spray. So this is what I use. Whenever I go to blow dry my hair, I spray that all over my hair and make sure it's nice and coated with that product. And so when I go to blow dry my hair, I section it out into like maybe four to five sections. So it's easier for me to blow dry and I put no product on my hair. So I just twist it up, pin it, put no product on my hair. So when I get ready to flat iron my hair, it's product free other than my heat protectant. I have nothing else on my hair other than a heat protectant, which is now nicely infused and blow dried into my hair. And so, and that's how I flat iron it. And it gives it movement. It's not heavy. And then after I blow dry, not blow dry, but after I flat iron my hair and I wrap it, it doesn't stay in place at all. So I have to quickly put my scarf on. I let it stay on for just so that it can mold to the way that I wrapped it and I'll take my scarf off and I'll spray my hair with the Shine Infusion. This is a hairspray by Chi. A little of this goes a long way. You should not spray this and think that you're going to, um, this will make your hair flat. So when you're spraying this into your hair, um, sometimes I move my head when I'm spraying it and then sometimes it's just like I spray it and that's it. And then I take like my little soft brush here which is a baby brush and I just make sure I'm, I brush it in nicely and without using a hard brush. Now whenever my hair gets like old and like I haven't really gone to the gym in the past eight nine weeks and so but my hair gets old and you know I may sweat during the night or something like that or go into an environment where there's like food and you know when you come out you have that smell on it. So I will blow dry my hair like not blow dry with the attachment but just like blow dry just to make sure I'm, I'm loosening up my hair and I'll take this dry shampoo and it's by Chi as well and this is the Rose Hip color nurture dry shampoo this smells good so this refreshes the smell of your hair and it helps whenever you can get a wash day in within a week or two or whatever you spray this on your hair and i take like my comb and then i spray it and i spray it like lift up my hair and i spray it and then i shake it and then i get the blow dryer it's so um, cool not warm and i just blow dry so that the smell of the dry shampoo can infuse into my hair and I really really like that um, but those are the products that I've been using now for my edges to tame my edges I, I have the cream of nature the black which I can put along my hairline where some of my gray is to help cover it up um, that um, control the edge control is in my bathroom it's in my um, toiletry bag <laughs> So the one that I have on my vanity is the one that I use every morning. It's by the main choice and this is the laid back effortlessly growth stimulating edge control gel and or edge control um, cream or whatever you want to call this. So this is it and this is supposed to help to stimulate uh, revitalizing hair follicles for growth and prevents breakage on your hair. So this one is what I'm using. Now I do have two other ones that I have that I feel like works just about the same. And this is the Curl Enhancing Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This is the Edge Control and Shape Paste. This is it right here. Um, you can purchase this at Sephora. Now I think this was like 20 something dollars. 
It smells really good. It smells like a perfume to me. It has a really nice, soft scent to it. But I do like the, um, but it's by Madam C.J. Walker, so you probably can get it on Amazon. You can order it online. But this is really good. And what else? I have this one by Myel Organics. So this is a flexible whole um, edge gel, and it has honey and ginger in it. And so it's supposed to not uh, flake your hair. And this is pretty much a new container because I've gone through a whole container of this. And this smells like, you can smell the, the lemon, the ginger, and the honey. Well, I say lemon, but it may not have lemon in it. But to me, it smells like lemon. But the ginger and the honey together, it smells really good and fresh. And again, I've gone through one of these already. And I really, really like this one. So I went back and repurchased this probably... I want to say beginning of January, I purchased this from, I want to say I got this from Sally's. Yeah, I got this from Sally's. I got this one from Sally's and then I got this one from Sephora. So that's what I've been using on my hair. Like I said, I wrap my hair at night with a silk scarf and I make sure I don't put anything cotton on my hair because I feel like um, if I do, it's going to dry my hair out and it's not going to have the movement that it has to it. And I do trim my ends on a regular basis as well. And I feel like that's been helping a lot. Right now, I'm in need of a trim. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm, I am in need of a trim. And I'm going to wait till my sister gets back from um, North Carolina. She's a cosmetologist. Um, she was a cosmetologist before she became a nurse. Um, so anyway, so she knows how to do hair because if I go, if I go and pay someone to trim my ends, it's going to be cost me like 20 bucks and I'm just not going to pay anybody. So the health of my hair has been really, really important to me as well. I spoke about that at the beginning of this video. And so one of the products that I've been taking, um, the hair vitamins that I have been taking now for over a year and I have went through multiple bottles of this me and my daughter i know eight bottles of this total together um and this is by it works and this is the hair skin um nails dyes hair supplement and these are really sweet and you take these with a meal you drink like a glass of water like with any vitamins to help um absorb and this because it's natural it absorbs more into your system than some of the other hair vitamins where it may it, you may expel most of it but this tends to stay with you so I feel like um, these have helped with the health of my hair and this is what they look like I don't know if you can see that this is what they look like and they're kind of sweet tasting but they're they're really good I take two of these a day and I really, really love these. And I feel like it has helped because a lot of people have asked me, like, how do you get your hair so healthy? How are you? I mean, I just feel like the health of your hair is important. Like drinking water, making sure you wash it on a daily basis, using the right products. Not, And I'm not saying I don't have heat damage because I feel like when I wash my hair, I can see some little stringy ends. But my the entire head of my hair on my head is not heat damage and I expect some heat damage and I'm okay with it because when I start wearing my hair in a protective style I'm going to be deep conditioning my hair I'm going to have moisture products in my hair I'm going to braid it down either I'm going to have on a unit I don't think I'm going to be wearing um a sew-in but just wearing a unit to make sure my hair is nicely moisturized and so when I take my hair out of its protective styling whenever the fall comes and I start back wearing my hair straight then um, a lot of the ends are, are going to be gone anyway because I'm going to be trimming my hair. So I just want to make sure that I have healthy hair and I feel like how I'm taking care of my hair right now is working for me and I'm staying away from relaxers. I, I don't have like any texturizer and all that. I don't have like any chemicals in my hair right now. Like I said, I don't even have color in my hair, which I want some color, but I'm just back and forth with that trying to figure out if i want to go black or if i want some colors in my hair like some streaks or something which i'm a little afraid of getting color in my hair because i know it takes a lot to maintain moisture in your hair and i just really feel like i need 
to get up and go and not focus on if I go two weeks without washing my hair, oh my gosh, my hair is going to break because I have the color in it. Um, but I wanted to just bring this to you guys and show you what I've been using on my hair and it's flat iron state. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's it guys. And I'm going to sit here because I have another video that I'm going to be making to show you about, show you some products that I'm actually going to be getting, getting rid of. I'm cleaning out my makeup collection. I haven't gone through my lipsticks yet, but I'm going to go through my lipsticks, but I have some palettes here and some other stuff that I'm going to be giving away to, um, uh, my cut, my niece's cousin, cause she's trying to build her makeup collection. So hopefully she can use a lot of this. So anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.